Welcome back guys. So today we will be continuing computational logic. So today we will be seeing like the conversion of SOP to POS. So we will be doing this by the help of this example. Suppose we have a term function of three variables. So it is something like this 1, 2, 6, 7 and I will write the like the in the form of variables. So it will be in mean terms. It will be this So I have con written all this. So now we uh, to do this after we have written the mean terms. So we need to find the compl complemented forms or the missing terms in in the mean terms. So the missing terms I will write here like missing terms. That is again f bar. We can say that we write it as this. So missing will be zero, three, four, and five. So these are the missing here. So now to find this, so therefore now I will write the what, this variable form. So this will be a b c, this will be a bar b c, this will be a b c, this will be this will be something like this. So now the complement of the function uh, we need so on complementing this function we'll get the like pos form so we'll do like this by applying de morgan's law or theorem de morgan's theorem we get f bar equals to a b c this will get as f of a b c this is m0, m3, m4, m5 and I will just complement it so let me show you how it works so I will just copy all of these so now just applying De Morgan's law simply for this first we apply for this this will be So the double bar gets removed plus changes to dot and this will be something like this a bar plus b plus c bar. So finally we can say this m0, m3, m4, m5 or we can write like this pi of 0, 3, 4, 5. So this is how you convert it. So for a general rule is that mg complement will give this. So m this is the min term complement will give the max term and j varies from 0, 1 to up to 2 to the power n minus 1. So this was all about it. So thanks for watching it.